Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing good. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Nasto. Welcome and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kindly guys, subscribe, uh, drop a comment. Most of all, don't forget guys to like this video. Yeah, so today we are coming live from uh, our village, our beautiful village. Yeah, it's so amazing. The weather is so good. Lots of sun. Yeah, we thank God. These days at least we have lots of sun. In the evening, lots of rain. <laughs> so, we're really enjoying the weather. Yeah, this is how busy our road is. But it's not that busy. We don't have uh, traffic jams in the village. But we have one of the best tarmac roads. One of the best and uh, the oldest. I grew up and uh, this road was already constructed. Yeah, so today guys, we're heading to our construction site. We are building a new home in the village. And... Uh, we have started another project of uh, we have started another project of uh, a borehole. I've really been struggling with uh, finding water, so we start we started another project here of trying to see if we can really find uh, some water. I remember this road from when I was beginning YouTube. <laughs> this was one of my favorite spots. Just passing here, looking for collabos and everything. <laughs> YouTube has really been a journey. Anyway, guys, to the all. To all youtubers out there kindly hold on push keep uh, working hard keep uploading more and more videos yeah don't give up don't give up the road uh, is not an easy journey trust me to everyone even the biggest youtubers they still face challenges so the challenges should just be there to at least motivate you and to encourage you wow people have already started planting so this is uh, sorghum I think yeah this is sorghum yeah, so we are also preparing our roads here. I think the government wants to put here a tarmac road. But projects like this, sometimes they take a year to be completed, sometimes months. But uh, yeah, we are, we, are, we are grateful for the progress. Because at least now we are going to be having a, at least a tarmac road this side. And it will prevent a lot of... Uh, it will really prevent a lot of what dust yeah dust in the village yeah so we are coming live from the village it's such a beautiful day again let's quickly rush to our home and see we started the borehole two days ago it was only prepared for one day the other day he skipped he never came but today he has risen up very early to go and continue digging our borehole i'm just crossing my fingers guys that at least today we might find some uh this time round, we might be able to find at least some uh, what? Some water. Water. Water has been a very big, big problem to me. I've really tried my best to dig three boreholes. Imagine <laughs> three boreholes, and I've never found anything. But I'm hopeful that this time, this time round, at least maybe we're just going to find uh, some some water for our place. Yeah. So let's go, guys. Yeah, so here we are now guys, uh, we are home, but let's go and look at the water point that we just discovered some some few days ago. There's a very good water point here and we bought uh, a generator or rather the water pump, but uh, I never knew how to, to use it. So there's a black pipe or rather a horse pipe, the one that is uh, somehow heavy. I'm still supposed to buy it, maybe like uh, five meters, uh, five, uh, yeah, five meters, so that it can be used now to pull the water from the river. But very soon I'm going to get it. So this is the area, and here there are very sharp ponds here. There's a stone that uh, uh, injured Mabere Musa, but at least right now Mabere is feeling much better. So we have very very bad stones here these kind of thorns these ones they are very bad you see so if you mistakenly step on them and you know mostly here in the village you are just used to putting on slippers like this sometimes shoes that uh, are uh, their soles are over so once this type of a thorn can uh, pierce your leg you can go you can be sick maybe for even a week but i'm glad that my berry musa right now is feeling much better uh, he suffered for like three days and then the pain was over but this is a very very bad thorn very bad you can see how strong it is so that's why sometimes I'm I'm very careful when walking maybe in places like this you see there are so many thorns here so many 
So if you step on some like this, there are very many here. So you really have to be very careful when walking. Yeah, but this is the water point that uh, in case now we have water shortage. You see, the water is very full here. There's a lot of clean water. But this one has been... Uh, they were blasting it so that's why at least they found some water and it's not that deep but imagine it has water so i'm just praying that at least also in our place there we can at least find uh what just look at how people are really good farmers people have really planted uh, or rather plowed their lands ready for tilling i'm, I'm so happy when i see uh, things like this people have uh, started plowing their land at least i'm sure that uh, people in my village will never will never suffer of uh, lack of food i don't know if this is uh I, I thought it was a passion fruit but this one is not this is just a, a wild thorn yeah sometimes when i walk maybe in the bushes like this <laughs> and see maybe a fruit i always pick it so that there's another one here it looks like a passion fruit but this is not a passion because it has some thorns there yeah, so let's go and check on the progress of our borehole and see how how far or if we are not lucky again yeah we will try again another day until the day that we will now find uh, what yeah so my neighbor here also is planning to blast uh, his stones i just hope he will not destroy my wall <laughs> my neighbor here really loves uh, extracting stones really loves extracting stones so today is Saturday, they're not around. You see, there's a very big rock here. So that's why at least I think we don't find uh, water easily because they're very big rocks. You see, there's a rock lying from that beginning all the way to the other end, just a flat rock. And he has uh, harvested all this. This is how much he has really harvested here. But what I really admire about my neighbor, he's one of the best, best farmers, you see. On the other end there he has planted kales, coriander, uh, fruits like mangoes, popos, he has uh, watermelons, he has uh, cabbages. Yeah, he's a very good farmer, very dedicated. But yeah, he's also trying to remove this stone. You see, so these are the holes that they use. So they put the blasts here and then they blow this whole stone. You can see how big. How wide the stones it has very many holes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two very many so this is they they really dig deep holes so they put the blasts here and then it goes up but a good thing is that this ground here is also raised but they also use uh sacks so they usually put a uh, soil they usually put soil in sacks like this a lot of a lot of uh soil so when the when the force comes from up, it finds the the sand in the sacks, it returns it back. So the pressure is not uh, that high. And also the guys that are, are blowing here are good professionals because they have never destroyed our wall. They have, they are always very careful. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it weakens the foundation maybe, but I believe that uh, it will not weaken our foundation of our wall. So this is our home here. You can see how close it is. To the area where he blasts yeah, so maybe let's pass this other end <laughs> let's ambush them from the back because maybe the masons were waiting for me to go through the gate <laughs> but i've decided to change route yeah so my neighbor here uh is a very good farmer i'm always proud of uh, what he does like uh you know agriculture is actually the backbone of uh every country every country I wish even for me one day, maybe we can get just a good farm, maybe an acre or two, and then we can be using it to uh, plant. Fundi, na kucheki. How are you? Fine. Uko poa? Good kabisa. Mwingia kazi. Mna korogia leo? Mna koroga? Zegi. Mesha koroga naanza kumimina. Hai, hai, na kuja kuangalia. Okay. Yeah, you know most uh most of our friends or, or rather our masons we get them from tanzania because their work is usually very perfect you can see so that's why sometimes swahili is a problem but they really work uh, professionally and also they value their work more 
compared to yes they they like the money but also they have to their first dedication is to ensure that they give you the best job yeah so so let's uh, go from behind i'll be showing you the wall in a short while yeah, so we are going on with uh, the borehole wow so yesterday we the sand that was removed previously we tried to put it here yeah. Mamma, <laughs> 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 Kutoka juu inaonyesha vizuri sana. Eh ikifika chini. Sasa sasa hii laini hii ya chini. Eh. Tukitabiria no terrain ile ya kisitoni. Kulina re Yesu. Eh ku laini ile ya kisitoni. Kana kwa china la Yesu Kristo. Ndio ni kwa kimbaya. Yeah. Hata tuombe Mungu tu. Mungu naye anahurumia watu wote. Mwana asumbuka rahani chimbira chake. Yes guys you see now we are trying at least it has gone somehow deep. Hii ni kama futi mifika. Yeah around 9 feet we have gone. So we are just praying and hoping that at least we don't find uh, maybe a, a rock in here. At least this time round we find uh, some water. So this is the borehole that we are trying to dig and we have Mama Ann here. Mama Ann is praying for us so that at least we find some water. Mama Ann, not to Amen. Amen. Yeah, so guys. Ah, yeah. yeah so this is the borehole guys that now we are preparing it's uh, around nine feet so this we have been depending on the rain but the, the previous week there was no water at least this week it rained for two three around three days two three days and now the and now the tank is uh, full right now the tank is very much full so I'm just hopeful that we'll find uh, water this time around. So the sand that we'll be removing from that place, I'm planning that now we, we just straighten it here and levelize this place. All this mara that we are uh, harvesting from that place, we will levelize all this area. At least now we can have a flat ground. So this is the mara. We'll try just and just levelize this place so that we can have uh, uniformity. Yeah, so... So this is the ballast that now we are uh, we will be using or rather we are using to pour mukami vipi na kuona una koroga koroga safi tu yes kwema tupo tu hapo tunachanganya zengi yes mukami is uh, mixing the ballast ah hiyo cement iko sawa kabisa eh at least now guys you can see this is how our mortar looks like at least we are putting in a lot of cement you see we are really using so much cement so that we have a very very strong uh, very strong uh, lentil you know the more you use a lot of cement the more it becomes the hard it becomes so we decided to use at least more cement because of this at least yeah so you can see so this is the cement at least they are putting in a lot of cement yeah. So we'll have a, a very strong uh, pillars and everything because we still have. Let me go and check. Store me fung. Store Okay, let's go and check. Maybe how many bags of cement we have. Uh, yeah, because we're also going to begin another phase very soon. Yeah, but right now I want to go for us <laughs> a commercial break. It's been uh, constructing after constructing after constructing. Hey, it's not an easy job. It's not an easy, easy job. So I don't know if we still have uh, cement in here, but I believe we have. Uh, this will be somewhere enough, at least for our lentil. We have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One. Two, three, four. At, we have uh, 34 bags. So these ones will really push. These ones will really push. At least we will finish up our lentil, and maybe we'll be able to start uh, some 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 parts of this wall. 
yeah but i'm hoping that we will be able to finish this yeah so i'm just grateful and uh, hopeful that me i'm really thankful me i can't complain guys because uh everything is going on smoothly and we have really come from very far very very far very far so always for me no complaints yeah sometimes i just sit back and uh look at where we have come from and i say i just i'm grateful god i'm really grateful for the far that uh, you've brought me and uh i think when you become more grateful and more like uh thankful things become easy for you just be grateful yeah don't don't uh, i don't know how tama is called it's something like uh, last don't have last i don't know if, if that's the right word uh tama 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 it's where you want you want you want you you know when maybe things uh maybe when god is testing you for your patience you still don't believe that uh, it's a test period you you always want to win 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 you never want to lose <laughs> then life will become very hard for you but for me i'm always grateful that uh for the things you wake up in the morning maybe you, you're not uh feeling okay but things are just moving smoothly so for me right now my biggest concern or my biggest worry is at least to find water in this place you know at least when we'll find water uh, we can even build a, an upper a tank where we can after we get electricity we can even be pumping water to to the top because a home without a good source of water trust me there are lots of challenges because you can't wash clothes you can't bathe easily you can't do so many things cooking is a problem but i'm just hopeful because this is my really greatest worry that we just find water because we have borehole number 1 there there's borehole number 2 here and there's another borehole all of them have big rocks big rocks like i don't know if how how uh the bedrock is down there i think it's a uh, very big but i'm just hopeful that uh that's why i talked to to this guy my neighbor here at least to allow me just two feet two feet he gave me at least two feet so that i try and see if we can find uh water in that place because my land used to end here his way it ended and uh, he gave me up to there you see it's just like uh, two steps one two just a few steps you see just a few steps so that at least if we can try and find water in this line because there's a bohole there's a toilet let me go and show you there's a toilet that he dug here and uh, the toilet is around 20 feet let me go and show you the main reason why I tried to talk to him but down here there's no place where he added me just where we are trying to find uh, our water source because i saw here my friend here he also has a youtube channel he's called uh, bushman bushman doctor you can kindly go support him subscribe to his channel yeah so you see he dug a toilet here so the toilet is very deep it's around uh, maybe 15 feet it's around maybe 15 feet deep and he never found uh, maybe 15 to 20 you see it's very deep he never found any any rock I don't know if he he will have agreed maybe to continue and see whether he can find uh, maybe water. But uh that's why now I'm trying in this same line that he he dug this this is a septic or rather a toilet because he's building a new home here. He's uh going on him and his wife they are, uh, they're building a beautiful home here. I'm just you know I'm always grateful when we, when the village is growing and you have uh neighbors and everything. Yeah, so I'm just grateful. So also my neighbor, you see, what I was talking about, is a very good farm. So this is uh, tomatoes, you see, Raja F1. He has just placed here nursery for tomatoes. I think once our wall also is complete, we will try and and uh, build a very good ki kitchen garden, a very nice kitchen garden with tomatoes, spinach, uh, skumawiki. I don't know if cabbage you can. You know cabbage they always like maybe to put in a maybe something like a big scale. But for us we'll just try uh, the small small vegetables that can just be planted into small portions. Mama <laughs> kanyasi
Ya ya. Ya ya. Yeah, so we have started the levelizing, levelizing process, so that also we give space for the man who is uh, removing the sand from the borehole. So all the maram that comes from uh, the borehole, we are trying also to put it here so that we have a level, because this place, as you can see, there's some somehow like it's slanting. So if you get all the maram from that side and just to use it to levelize this place, I think we'll have a beautiful compound. You see like here, at least right now it's a somehow level ground. So if we work with the same level all the way to the wall, I think now we'll have a, a beautiful compound. Also we are trying to uh, make it easy for you. So the time he'll be back, because at the moment he has, he's at Mara's place, he's still going on with... Uh, making sure the compound is uh, clean so we have taken over his work and uh, yeah so we are removing all the sand because uh, so that we also give some good space so this is the mara that was uh, removed from the borehole so you also have to move it to this uh, <laughs> other end here <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's work on it. Right? Yes. So we'll uh, level it. I I'm just hoping that uh, our borehole will not disappoint us this time around, guys. I'm just hopeful that we'll go as deep as possible so that we can also get uh, enough maram to use in levelizing this place, especially the toilet. My biggest worry very uh so far is here you see is here at least if we have a level ground and you see we have been able to plant some cypress which are really doing very well so at least if this place now is level even the look of the house will be very very beautiful
The title of this video guys, it says how YouTube changed my life in less than three years on YouTube. Yeah, I know three years is not a short time. It's uh, a long time, but for me, it seems like yesterday. Today I was just watching my very first video that uh, we posted exactly on 30th March 20... Let me show you guys. Yeah, this is the video we posted on the very first video our first video it's so uh, so excited it was on 30th march 30th march 2021 this was my very very first video and i just rewatched it and i said wow it's been a really long journey hello guys this is maja and nasto i am maja he's nasto yeah. so kindly this is our first video so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel hit that yeah. like button then you notification bell yeah today we are doing this to gain some courage actually we have been inspired by a lot of people but mostly we have been inspired by ayamara to start our youtube channel i hope we'll gain more courage to produce more videos yeah Yo. and uh, the content at least we will try to make it be the best i hope we get positive feedback from you guys Tell us on what to do better. Tell us on how to improve ourselves and be appealing to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, that was my very first video. Actually, this YouTube channel used to be called uh, Nasto and Maja. Yeah. I have a very good friend. He's uh, like a brother to me. He's called Maja. Kindly, guys, go support him. Check him out on his uh, YouTube channel. It's underscore Maja. Yeah, show him love, guys. So it's been exactly this year on uh, 30th march we are going to celebrate uh three years on youtube and uh we have achieved a lot of things a lot of things since that time that i really posted my vid my very first video i was asking that i hope that we get to get uh, confidence self-confidence and uh to produce more appealing videos and when i look back to time i was a very very shy person i never like I will not uh, approach a person maybe easily. For example, these days I can go to a place, maybe a supermarket, maybe a big shop. I can go to Nairobi. I can even approach a police officer and tell him, hey, sir, I really need to do a video here. Am I allowed? Before this, or rather before I started my YouTube journey, I never had self-confidence. Like in a room, if I was put maybe with uh, 10 people, I will spend maybe even a whole day without saying hi to the next person seated to me because I was very, very shy. I used to be like uh, a very introvert person. 
But if the other person made the first move, we will really get along very easily. But these days, YouTube has really given me a lot of self-confidence. I can travel. We went to Uganda. I've gone to a little bit of Tanzania. Even here in the village, I've socialized with a lot of people. Thanks to YouTube, it has really boosted my self-belief. Self and also, it has made me realize that I can do it. I used to ask myself uh, before I became a full-time YouTuber, you know, I used to see my fellow uh, fellow edgemates. Some of them were already employed in the government. Some had already started building their homes. Some had started traveling the world. And I was like, hey, Nasto, will you ever become someone in this life? I really am thankful to YouTube because it has really given me a platform where I can even air my voice. Some people can watch. Yeah, like on YouTube, you don't have to have like uh, maybe a million subscribers. 10 million subscribers to feel that worth i think you only need a group of people who really understand who you are and uh, can easily relate to you so i'm very much thankful to everyone who has really supported me by subscribing to this youtube channel i really don't take you for granted let's continue with uh, watching our video that we started with i don't even what i said during this very first video be appealing to you yeah you know we have to make you <laughs> wants to watch more from us yes kindly kindly subscribe yeah. share the video and we hope we will make you more comfortable watching our videos <laughs> okay actually our youtube channel will be about how one can be inspired to actually get out of their comfort zone and actually start something positive actually today we have started one step yeah it's always one step Move, moving forward and we promise we'll never stop doing what we are we have wow i promised myself never to stop uh doing what i have to do almost three years ago guys almost three years ago i promised myself that i'll really be self-confident i'll be punctual and i'm really thankful looking back three years ago to where i am I'm really very much grateful. So YouTube has really changed my life today. This day, trust me, I was still working at a bus station. I used to call, I used to steal some time from work, rush to the village here, do a few videos, go back to my work. I used to wash a bus. I used, I used to wash buses. I used to book for people tickets to Nairobi. I used to sort their luggages. So when I look back at the journey that uh, I've come from, I'm forever, forever grateful, guys. And today we have a very beautiful uh, thing here. Out of that one step that I really took to say, hey, Nasto, I'm taking this bold step, quitting my job, quitting my full-time job, and becoming a full-time YouTuber out here. So in uh, three years, we have been able to achieve uh, buying this piece of land here. Today, imagine I'm even building a wall here by the support of also you guys you've really held my hand you've really i never knew that i would get a family uh that is so loyal so supportive so encouraging like you guys when i was just starting my youtube channel i just thought it was just a joke but today i'm here to give that uh, big testimony that yeah you can i know a lot of people here are doubting their themselves that uh we cannot nasto tell us uh, what what is the secret Trust me, go watch my very first video. I think it has 900 views. It never went viral, but I never kept, I never lost hope. I always believed that next year, a time like now, I'll be somewhere. When that time comes, next year, a time like now, I'll be somewhere. Even today, I'm saying that next year, a time like now, I know I'll, I'll not be in the same position. My home maybe will not be in the same state as it is. Maybe an, another uh, building will have begun here. Maybe we'll uh, have a very beautiful fence. Yeah. So the beauty of YouTube is about giving yourself time, believing in yourself that is number one. Give yourself time. Don't compare yourself with uh, anyone else. It's like fingers. These fingers are never the same. You could be this other finger, you could be this other finger, but all these fingers depend, like they have a very big role that they play in your hand. Yeah, so I'm really thankful for everyone who has been very supportive to me through this journey. It has not been uh, an easy journey. I can uh, attest to that. It has been a journey that is full of ups, downs, challenges, 
everything doubts people doubting you people don't uh, not believing that you can yeah so let's continue <laughs> i really think this video is a very interesting one forgive me forgive me for putting the whole video but this was my very first video and uh it says here a journey of a thousand miles always begins with one step kindly share subscribe and like our video yes moving forward and we promise we'll never stop doing what we are we are planning to do yeah okay okay guys uh this is Maja. so uh our youtube channel we just started it uh, yesterday and we are trying to do something uh, good okay in africa to be general to be precise in kenya uh, we want to do to change our lives actually and uh, mm, support us subscribe to our youtube channel Maja and nasto so kindly support us and uh, I think we will do better videos, good videos, inspiration in general. So kindly go watch us. And yeah, actually, uh, I think the title of this video also relates to this video because we really believe that uh, YouTube will change our lives since day one that we began uh, this journey and indeed it has really changed a lot a lot inside me like ever since i left my job and decided to become a full-time youtuber youtube has really shaped even the way i think even the way i work even the hours that i sleep it has really uh, challenged me a lot it has also positively impacted my life and also the people around me yeah so that's why I always encourage maybe my friends, my the people very close to me that YouTube is not a bad thing. I know in our village here, a lot of people never understood what really YouTube is. What is YouTube? Like uh, a lot of our parents uh, were not that much into social media. So this is a new thing. Sometimes even you get maybe the officials saying that, hey, we need all YouTubers, maybe <laughs> in one meeting, because this is a very strange thing and uh, which can really change people's life in a very short time. Like, uh, also, another thing is that YouTube has really changed the perspective of uh, even our village, even our country, even the small things, like uh, uh, even our rivers, you see. Like, for example, if you go to a river, we never, we just, we just thought that maybe it is just a, a river just flowing here but youtube has really made us realize that we really have to treasure these natural resources that we have when i bought this land there was a very big tree here but it was cut down through youtube videos and uh, uh coming together with environment it has really taught us that hey we really need a lot of trees in our compound hey we really need uh, good roads we really need to plant uh, different types of crops we really need like a home like this you see maybe if not youtube maybe we'll have uh, just put a veranda here and people to sit but it has uh, like encouraged me to just get together with nature you see right now we even can plant flowers along our houses like this through youtube you see it has really changed even the way someone thinks even the way someone looks at things because we used to believe that maybe if you have to be employed, you, you only have to go maybe to a big city, get employment there, and maybe uh, build a house in Nairobi or buy a house in the big cities. But as we became YouTubers, we got to realize that, hey, no, we don't have to go to the city to maybe uh, buy bungalows there. We can also build them here in the village. And you can work wherever you are in this world but also home is the best. You can come back to your home and invest in your home. Because the more we showcase our villages, the more people now realize that, hey, village life is the best. So that is also one thing that re uh, YouTube has really taught me a lot, that people really need peace. Like in a place like this, you see, I'm just seated out here, but I really feel more peaceful than even when, than even when I'm maybe in Nairobi, in a big city. I feel like here I'm not like suffocated. I just feel very much peaceful. So that is how YouTube has really changed my life. And uh, I really want to inspire a lot of people who maybe want to start their YouTube journey. Just start, just uh, just start. The very first 
step is to just open that YouTube channel and maybe the requirements of opening up a YouTube channel, there's not so many requirements because uh, opening up a YouTube channel is one of the easiest, easiest, easiest step. So let me, let me take you through the process maybe of opening up a YouTube channel. First of all, you really have to create an email account. A Gmail account, I think a Gmail account is the best. Maybe if your name is uh, Nastu Chacha, just call yourself, open up an email, set up your date of birth, uh, your country of birth, your location, your everything. Just the details that maybe you're required to have during the opening up of an email. Just go to Gmail, uh, create new account. They will ask you the details, name, everything, uh, date of birth, first name, second name, uh, gender, everything. And then go to the YouTube. It's uh, just an open thing. Let me show you how <laughs> maybe someone is out there and maybe they don't know what maybe Nasto is talking about. So on your on your phone, first of all, you have to go to this uh, Gmail here, create an account. And then after creating an account, you have to go to this thing called uh, YouTube here. Yeah, so you have to go to this thing called YouTube. There's a place here. For example, if you open up a any channel and maybe you want to comment if you don't have an account it will always tell you to log in to log in very fast so that you can uh, maybe comment in that video so log in by putting in that email that you have just uh, you have just opened or i think there's a very uh, there's this plus button here you can uh, press it like this you can press it if, if you don't have an account, it will tell you to open up an account so that you can upload. Just put in your details, type in the name that uh, maybe you want of the channel. So let's see. Let's see how, how do we... Yeah, let's try and switch account and maybe see how to open up another... Yeah, there's this plus button. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if it will uh, accept. I'm just trying to create a dummy account here. Yeah. Sign in with your Google account. So here's where you put your new email and your password and everything and then voila you have your youtube channel so just create maybe an introduction video it could be three minutes four minutes like my very first uh, introduction video was three minutes just post it there and you know what uh once you're on youtube it will really change your life like uh you know you talk about maybe nine to five jobs but also i think youtube is a uh, also a nine to f nine maybe seven to seven job but it gives you that freedom of being so creative the freedom of expression like uh yeah you do what you really like to do so you can create your very first video upload it there and also youtube will change your life like uh for me if i go maybe two days without uploading a video i always feel very awkward like i want to upload every day every day every day even there's a time that maybe you're feeling that you're not feeling well maybe you're uh, you're unwell but you feel like hey i still have to do a video so that is how youtube will really change your life like it will keep you pushing day in day out uh wanting to upload a video after the other a video after the other and uh, it, it makes you very self uh self-disciplined and also it will broaden up your mind because on youtube here You'll be forced to go maybe out there and start uh, watching other people, maybe the people who inspire you. Like for me, honestly, even my very first video says that I was really inspired by IMR. He's my biggest, 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 uh, biggest mentor. Even in the first video, three years ago, you see, I always say that this is the guy who uh, pushed me into opening, into opening up and uh, setting up my YouTube channel. So have a mentor. It might not be Marwa, it might be another person, it might be maybe Nasto, but it's always good to just have a man out there that uh, you look up to, that maybe you want to be like them in uh, the near future or in, in, uh, yeah, in the near future. So look at what maybe they do. If you get a chance, you can approach them, talk to them and maybe ask them, how do you do this thing? How is YouTube? Yeah, but very fast is to start your very first uh, video. Just put it, post it there. You might not meet them maybe in the first one year, but always upload fast, upload fast, so that even when you get to meet them, you already have some basic skills of uh, maybe uploading your videos and everything. Uh, sorry, so someone is uh, calling me. Yeah, so 
just be self confidence believe also in yourself do research go on youtube type how to be a good youtuber how to get a million subscribers yeah and enjoy the biggest thing also is to enjoy the journey enjoy content creation believe in yourself like don't don't put the money part first like in this video i think we never said maybe in any place that uh maybe you want to build a big house like this things like this will come trust me but first of all is you to enjoy the 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 journey enjoy the content creation journey that is the best best thing yeah so let's continue guys with our video <laughs> Our very first yeah. video, yes. Uh, we want to do to change our lives actually, and uh, mm, support us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Maza and Nasto. So kindly support us, and uh, I think we will do better videos, good videos, inspiration in general. So kindly go watch us and put a thumb and the bell kindly. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. We, you will get to hear more from us. We promise you that. And we'll do more content, positive content, and show that actually life is not impossible. We can make it. Anyone can make it. Yeah, we have come from a very humble background. Yeah, and we promise to do better. Thank you so much. And let's end here. And we promise the next video will be about something more inspiring. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Wow. 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 So when we started, when I, uh, we started this uh, hey, hey, YouTube hey. channel here, actually it was uh, a partnership. It was me and Maja who had this, uh, who created this YouTube channel, and uh, we were doing videos uh, together. As in, uh, the channel was called Nasto and Maja. Then later on, Maja went to school for almost a year so i was left with the channel to run so every time i used to introduce my channel like hey welcome back to nasto and maja so a lot of people used to ask me hey where's maja where's maja so we came to an agreement with maja that you continue with school when you finish and uh, i believe maybe i'll be somewhere else maybe i'll have maybe three thousand subscribers maybe five thousand subscribers yeah any number so that when you arrive back from school or when you're done to school we can also set up your youtube channel and then we can begin so when uh, he finished school i think i was at uh, around six thousand subscribers then we opened for him a new channel and he's really doing also very very well kindly guys go support him let's get him to ten thousand subscribers i've really learned a lot of things about uh, youtube from the very first day that i started my channel the very first thing I learned is to be self-confident. Believe in yourself. That is the very first thing. And uh, another thing is to always be open to learning new things. Yeah, don't despise anyone. Maybe someone might be telling you, hey, uh, uh, there's something new about YouTube that maybe... Don't pretend that you know everything, you see. Don't act that you know everything on, on YouTube. There are so many things that even me here, I don't know about YouTube. So... Be open to learning every day youtube is a is like a school every day you get to learn new things maybe putting thumbnails maybe uh putting your very first uh script how to put the description maybe taking better thumbnails even holding your camera so every single day on youtube is a learning process so just be open to learning and uh yeah that is the very first thing be open to learning another thing i don't know if i say this don't despise any anyone like when i was beginning also my youtube channel uh a lot of people ignore like i, I believe this is this happens to a lot of people like maybe you ignore someone uh who who you see is struggling maybe to uh, grow up the youtube channel you ignore them especially people who have good intentions you know on youtube here we have a lot of people some you can ignore because of maybe you feel like this person has a bad intention like maybe you know you can you can value people you can gauge people you can gauge people and you can know that hey this person really wants to uh, grow up the youtube channel they want you know on youtube here it's not about the very first thing is as i said it's not about the money it's about the passing the, the the information or entertaining maybe someone who is watching it's not about just 
maybe getting the money. Money should not be fast. That is the very first thing. Put in your good work and all this will come. So don't don't ignore people. Just encourage everyone to grow and never think that maybe the other person will never catch up with you. There's always room for growth for everyone. Like this platform platform is uniform. So there's always growth for everyone. Uh, another good thing that I've really realized is uh, on this journey is more videos, more success. More videos, more success. There's no shortcut on YouTube. The more videos you upload on YouTube, the more subscribers you will get. Yeah, but you might have a thousand videos and maybe you're not already at a uh, hundred K uh, subscribers. But I believe that every video will bring you a subscriber. And always do research. For example, if you travel to maybe a new, a new, a new place, a new country, yeah, you can watch your other YouTubers who have already traveled to that place, and you can try to see what maybe they have been doing. And also, you can ask the locals. Maybe they can tell you maybe a place that they have never also explored, so that you can also get to to learn. Because I don't, I don't know if there are new places that have never been discovered. <laughs> But if you're very lucky to find maybe a place that a lot of people have never shown, yeah, you can go with it and uh, show show other people there. Another thing I've learned uh, about YouTube for three years, uh, mm, I've learned that, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've really learned a lot of things. I've learned that uh, there's no, like, there's no, uh, how do I put this thing? Like, uh, you can be anything. You can be anything in this life. Trust me. You can be anything in this life. I never believed that maybe one day through this uh, YouTube journey, I would ever come to build a house like this. I never believed in that. I always thought that this YouTube, I'm just creating here just to share videos and everything. But it never came in my mind that one day Nastu will have a beautiful home like this. Uh... Even when I was beginning to construct this house, I really doubted myself whether I will even finish this house here. But it's been uh, five months since we began, or almost six months since we began uh, building this home here. And the progress has really been amazing. Yeah. Also for me, I doubted myself. But in the next project, guys, I promise I will not doubt myself because I've seen that... Uh, you can do it you can do it so that's why i'm also out here to just encourage someone out there that uh, wants to start this journey that you can also do it you can also do it don't listen to the naysayers they will tell you a lot of things that uh, maybe you feel that you will never achieve anything in this life but just believe in yourself it's you who knows your limits let no one no one tell you about maybe what you can do or what you can't do yeah so let me end the video here guys it's been an amazing journey but youtube has really really changed my life it has really made me uh also to believe even in strangers you see i might see a person today starting a youtube channel with zero subscribers but i have that hope that this person their channel will grow uh this person one day will be a great person it could be you who has not yet started a YouTube channel. I have high hopes for you that one day you will also look back and say, wow, the journey has been uh, really worthwhile. So it's time now for me to do the watering of our compound, uh, the flowers here. Yeah, this is how YouTube has also changed my life. <laughs> Taking care of uh, the environment. We had a, a bucket here. I'm trying to look for... Uh, a water bucket that we can use in fetching water.
yeah so guys i'm already done now watering our the lentil of the perimeter wall that one it was a very long one but uh, i'm already done now it's time to water the fruits the fruits that uh, i've planted in this compound another great thing that youtube has really given me or has changed in my life it has given me an amazing amazing family when you enter the youtube world you you don't know of maybe how much maybe the people who watch your videos how much they uh, like you how much they support you but one thing that i've really realized about youtube is it gives you an amazing amazing family amazing family out there they are very nice people out here that uh, want the best for for us for the youths for the young guys trying to build something for the, for themselves so youtube has really given me an amazing family you guys who watch my videos i really treasure you so much so much so much i really uh, i really wish one day we could uh, get to meet with uh, most of you if not all of you i would really love to meet you guys like uh, right now i'm even more confident like even if i decide to travel maybe the world maybe even in africa only i believe at least in every country in africa here or let me say maybe 50 percent of the countries in africa here maybe you can comment so that we <laughs> maybe don't just do the talking maybe you can comment which country are you watching from uh this this video or today's uh video and maybe you are out there uh, maybe you are in the UK, you are in the USA, you are in Canada, and maybe you come from Africa also. Kindly comment. Let's start with the African countries. Or you can comment maybe like USA, Kenya, UK, Ghana, uh, Canada, Nigeria. <laughs> the mother country and the country that you are in at the moment. So that we can see how many maybe people we have out there that uh, support us. So... YouTube has given me a family that I really treasure so much. Some of you call me, some of you uh, SMS me, some of you email me, some of you even video chat me so that uh, we can get to see each other one on one. So I really, I really treasure you guys and I really appreciate the love and support that you've really given me. Uh, I used to have a very like, uh, I'm not a very social person. I was not a very social person. Uh, previously but these days i've become more social more very much social with a lot of people sometimes i'm even wondering hey is this me like i'm used not to having a lot of friends a lot of friends but ever since i began uh, the youtube journey i've learned to to be more open-minded to be more friendly to be more uh, accommodative yeah that is what youtube has really taught me so i'm very much grateful for the for the love and support that you guys are giving me i will never have had this home if it was not for you great family that have been very supportive to me so today we're just talking it's a sunday and you know sunday is family time so here's where i'm getting my water yeah we have another water here but today i just want to finish this one first this one and then now we can uh, try and see if we can use the other the other bucket so let's also water this here yeah very beautiful flower and also this one that i really love this is my favorite i don't know. i really admire it very much so i'm just giving them enough water this is how youtube has changed my life i'm loving the environment more and more even for you i encourage you to love nature plant as many trees as you can in your compound in your home yeah everywhere you go plant more trees they bring a lot of beauty this fly bought it from nairobi but i don't know if it's drying up i just pray it's not to to dry up so we have oranges we have guavas we have mangoes yeah i'm trying to water all the plants that we have in our compound here and most of all 
also the my favorite i have two favorite fruits i have this one you know this tree here i have a very long history with it it's called uh, it's it has some purple small fruits some very sweet fruits that are purple in color when i was growing up when i was young my neighbor used to have them so i used to really like climbing on that tree i used to really enjoy going to climb on that tree in their compound so when i grew big also like this i decided that hey i also have to plant this tree so that my kids my neighbor's kids can also enjoy <laughs> uh climbing in this tree one day when it becomes big yeah so that also when they grow big they should also appreciate nature so we have also a palm tree we have some small paper green paper yeah i think now we are done with the, the trees these other ones i think they are now good They've already caught up. Yeah, so that is our last tree. Oh, we have this one. This one is also an indigenous tree. So this is the last one that now we are watering. And then now we end uh, our video. If you are a YouTube content creator out there, kindly also comment. How has YouTube changed your life? Has it impacted you positively? Has it impacted you negatively? And uh, uh, I also thank all my friends, those who know me maybe personally and watch my videos wherever we meet up maybe in the village maybe on facebook on instagram at it's underscore nasto on facebook on instagram i really appreciate you for because you really know the journey that uh, we have come and uh, how much you really appreciate me so i thank you guys so much yeah Let's water now this and tell you the last encouraging words. Yeah. So for someone out there that maybe is doubting himself and asking, is YouTube really worth it? Is is really YouTube worth it in 2024? Trust me, YouTube is a very good uh, social media platform. As long as you know what maybe uh, you come to do on this platform. It's a very interesting place where you will meet very amazing people. Out here we have very nice people who will always support you no matter what. Just be confident in yourself. Believe in yourself before you start that YouTube channel. And after you open up that YouTube channel also, believe in yourself. Yeah. Don't look for the short time wins. Always have bigger dreams. Bigger dreams. Five years to come. Ten years to come. And uh, yeah, you will, you will, it will be very easy for you. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video till the end. Trust me, YouTube has really taught me a lot of things, and it, it has really impacted my life positively. Positively, I will never ask for any other life uh, apart from this. I'm enjoying the content creation journey. So keep praying for us. Five years to come, or three years again to come, we will rewatch this video and we will say, wow. YouTube has really been uh, worthwhile and I believe by that time we will have amazing things here maybe even our home will be much bigger compared to this but for now I'm very thankful for this achievement so goodbye and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye bye